just uh, because we hadn't, at least in, as far as I can remember, done a lot of uh, weapon stuff in uh, clinics and whatnot. There's in the Tamiki system, at least. There's a little bit of Joe and Boken in, uh, in San Kata, and then again uh, in a little bit in Roku Kata. Not a lot. And I, from what I understand, in the more um, traditional or, or Ueshiba sort of driven schools, he he was known to uh, he was trained, if, if I understand correctly, in, in a lot of weapons before he even got started into Aikido, and he would was known to get out on the mat and just sort of do stuff interchangeably. Sometimes he would grab a Joe, or no one really knew if he was going to grab a Boken or a Joe or what. And I and I think his point was that it's all Aiki. It's all the principles are all the same, and it doesn't. It's not like you have certain techniques for this and certain techniques for that, and and that sort of thing. Um, so I thought it would be fun just to to play with some of those ideas. Some of which are there are about five techniques in Sankara that are uh, Jodori or dealing with um, a defense against someone who's got a Joe, got a stick coming at you or a spear. Um, so we might cover, talk about some of those, but there's also a bunch of other ideas and other expressions of Aikido principle that lend themselves, I think, nicely to um, mostly the Joe. Who knows? We might get crazy today or tomorrow and get out a sword or something, or, something, or maybe just an inanimate object of some sort and just club each other <laughs> like animals. Um, we'll start with a stick. Like, civil, like civilized people. <laughs> so, okay, but first, real, real quick, I wanted to ask um, how many uh, folks have done some of the, any of the weapon stuff, like from uh, Korodai Sankara or Roku Kara? Okay, cool. And then, are there any Jodo practitioners? In the oh, house? Yeah. Yeah. Started. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Well, a couple of things really quickly. Wander off camera to get a, to get a stick. Um, just by uh, virtue of safety, walking around, try to, if you remember anything, just try to keep the stick parallel with your body. You can hold it like this, you can hold it like this or something. Just if perpendicular like this, you tend to <laughs> turn around and smack somebody on the head three stooges style and that's that's no good so um, and if you got to put it down I would suggest if you lean it up against the wall they have a tendency to fall down and whatnot I would just set it flat and get it out of the way so people aren't stepping on them or tripping them uh, okay yeah Basically, be careful because there's lasers that shoot out the end too, and you don't want to put put an eye. <laughs> um, the basic uh, attack I think that we're going to work with is um, it's fairly straightforward. It's not any, anything fancy. We just need a line of energy to work with. Um, I think originally a lot of this came from um, the yari or the spear ideas, and so. Uh, usually you're, you're leading with your, your left hand and your left foot. These will obviously work either side. But just to keep things simple, you might just start with your left. And you can either think about it as you're stepping forward and literally trying to poke the guy in the gut and aim for about the solar plexus or somewhere in there, not the face. Not, again, not that it won't, stuff won't work in the face, but you know, we just want to be nice. We don't want to ruin any of these pretty mugs that we've got <laughs> playing around here, right? right. So uh, then I, I think there's some folks that come from a more uh, Jodo background um, who have done it kind of a draw and thrust idea and if you're comfortable with that that's cool too. Um, the main idea is just like I said provide a line of, of energy that we can deal with. So let's Grab, let's jump right into it, right? So, I'm gonna grab John. <laughs> Brown. <laughs> now that I know, I can toss him. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the first thing he's gotta do, and I, I assume you're all familiar with the walking kata, um, to deal with a line of energy, 
is to not be there, right? right? So we're going to deal with very simple evasion steps from the from the walk, right? Um, starting with the forward step, and um, actually I'm going to give John John right. So he's going to hang it, get on, hold it. He's going to get his left hand and left foot forward. There you go. And when you're starting your your my, you're distancing. Normally, without a weapon, you'd be about here, right? This would be the the bubble that you operate on, and, and you move and, and start to react the moment something comes in there. But it's a, it starts to get a little unusual when you're dealing now with a stick because the my is a heck of a lot different. <coughs> um, so start from there, measure from there, and he's aiming right about the solar plexus. And yeah, yeah, go ahead, finish your step. And <laughs> just trying to. And one of the main problems that we have sometimes, and I think that might have been why I got poked there a second ago, um, the tendency that we have with, with any kind of weapons is that the moment they get something in their hands, it doesn't really matter what it is, we tend to focus on that thing <laughs> instead of the actual guy himself. And that can be problematic. Let's turn this way when you get the camera on this. And uh, you'll find your reaction time a lot slower when you're staring at the weapon, believe it or not. Um, and the weapon can lie, it can move at its own momentum, but I'm really concerned about him and his center and where he's going, where he's moving in space. So I'd like to keep my eyes on the guy and, and not the, the stick itself. Um, so for just a moment, I would like you just to kind of get used to the handling the stick. Just start with, he's going to come and spear the guy, and we're going to practice just stepping off the line, just like that, watching the guy and not the stick, just for a few moments, trading back and forth, right? So, cool, we have a handful of Joe sticks up there on the rack, feel free to grab one, and grab somebody to poke. We got an even number here. One, two, three. Cool. All right. You can grab the Michael. Now we, you, you can. You don't have to circle up or anything. But uh, what Karis is already starting to do, and it's just a. <laughs> I think it, it's going to be habit. Is just start getting your hand involved, and uh, it doesn't have to do much of anything. I'm just wanting to place it on here just so I can make a connection with the weapon and now know where it's at in space and what my relationship is to it, right? So we're not grabbing anything just yet, but we're just practicing moving off the line and it doesn't matter. You can do either hand, whichever one that you like. You can do both hands, but again, not gripping or anything, but we're just making a little connection, getting to know where the thing is in space. Cool. Do that for a minute. And the trick is, of course, to be able to reach out and touch the weapon, but without looking and staring at the weapon itself, but to still keep your attention on the whole person, the whole entity. All right, all right, cool. Stay right where you're at. Um, so up until this point, right, we've been taking a forward evasion step. So if I'm going over here, I'm stepping forward with my right foot, stepping forward with my left foot, right? Same kind of an idea, and you can get your hand involved in, in, as well. But now I'm stepping back, right, and pivoting with back foot, kind of like he's pushing open a door, right? Whoop, I missed it. Because I'm looking. <laughs> there it was. Right. Play with that for a minute. Let's add a little something to that. So, first one I wanted to talk about was um, going back to the forward evasion. 
and we're going to be um, where was the black? There's the black dot. Nick told me about. this is where you get the best camera views and everything. Right? I'm going to stand over here, so you might. Um, so the first thing I want I want to do is I want to borrow Jorge. <laughs> That's your new name, my guy. All right. <laughs> So uh, now I'm stepping forward and to the inside, in here somewhere, right? Not the ideal place, really. Um, I think most of the time, and a lot of time in uh, the time in Aikido, we spend trying to get to what's called the, the shikaku or the blind spot, the dead zone. I want, I'd like to be here. This is cool because all his weapons are facing out there somewhere, and, and all my weapons are pointed at him. Well, for whatever reason, I don't know. Maybe my weight is planted on that foot. I don't. I can't go over there. There's a. There's other ninjas standing right there, and I can't avoid another thing because I'll bump into the other ninja. So I have to go to the inside, right? And you'll probably recognize this if you've done any of it. Uh, uh, Shomanate is probably right off the bat your best bet. Um, so <coughs> I'm going to make contact here with my left hand first. And I'm going to switch to my right hand, and then my left hand is going to be at his face. Now, in that little exchange, I would like to slowly continue <laughs> his forward momentum, right? I would like to, I don't want to interrupt or, or try and stop his line of energy. I would like to keep it going the direction it's going. So if, just stand still for a second. So don't think necessarily of I'm climbing this to get at to him, per se, as I'm I'm actually inviting him in and, and drawing him in to the shomanata. You can do it, sure, with a getting here and just powering and pushing through it. They'll fall down, go boom, for sure. Um, <laughs> But it lacks a certain amount of subtlety, I think. So as left, right, left, and I'm keeping that energy going the line that it was originally intended, down the line of that stick, right? And so they have a tendency where their hands are going this way, but their head is going that way. And you end up sort of splitting them a little bit like a like a wishbone. <laughs> right? So and you could do it slowly and, and gradually, and it's kind of like, I don't know, you're like getting your tie caught in a, in a thresher or something like that. You're just sort of <laughs> drawn in and you can't get out again. Um, right, so play with that for me. Okay. Yeah, yeah now, now, which brings up a good question. Because the, you know, the Maya is different, the spacing is different. Right. Yeah. My first initial step, <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, he's way out there. I'm too far. So I've, I've got to draw him in. Right? So let me give the stick a try. So I'm keeping it going that direction. If that makes sense. So let me come at you. That's right. Just, I'll just. Yeah. Yeah, so the second, oh, here, your second grip could even be in between. Inside. It depends upon where your, your spacing is. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it could be an infinite number, really. Oh, I see. I see. Theoretically. So you are kind of walking your hands. Yeah, down. yeah. Okay. It's like I'm pulling a, getting a rope. rope yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, so, really the optimum place I'd want to end up. What's that? The optimum position I'd want to end up. Come on. Section in here. Oh, uh, right here. Where you'd like to end up? On the middle of the stick, maybe. So yeah. Could be there. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Wait a minute. Come a little closer. Huh? This end. This end. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right there. And that's Yeah. That's a whole lot different. Is it? I'm getting some definite thrust to the rear. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Cool. 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 You can 
uh, variations. That can be just your hand on the chin, very shomanate like. Um, you can draw them into where your whole arm and your whole body is draped across this shoulder line, right? But again, there's that still, there's that energy. It's going that way. I'd like to keep it going that way. Yeah, and kind of splitting him like a wishbone a little bit. Right? Cool. So, let's play with that. Yeah. An another, I thought I'd throw this at you. You've probably already played with Once you get to this point, you can also, of course, add other nuances. A little, a little leg, a little leg behind the thing. And yeah, some sweeping ideas do. <coughs> cool. Well, we'll move on again a little bit. <laughs> hey, Mr. Very startling. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Oh, all right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> all right. So, I'll have Karen's come and kill me. Um, now we're going, still going to that same side. Uh, to, to the outside, to that, uh, the Chicago, that dead space. Um, now, for whatever reason, I've, my initial entry, my initial step, that, oh. come around, <laughs> come around here so we can see. My initial entry, my initial step, my arm is not in a place where I can get directly at him. Maybe as I've stepped, oh, shoot, my arm has shot past. The guy. Hi, how you doing? Nice to see you. And uh, <laughs> we're just gonna rest these, this, these appendages of ours on the guy. And I'm just gonna very lightly. I'm not trying to grab or do anything or get strong with the guy. I just want to rest and kind of a, think about attaching this hand to my uh, to my thigh. And this hand is dropping on his upper shoulder. And you'll notice there's a line of his feet and then there's a perpendicular line to that feet and I can take a step. Basically, it's this sort of diagonal backward step from, from the walk, right? But I want to attach him to me first. And of course, take the stick away from him. So your left hand is kind of attaching it to your thigh, your right hand draped on top of the guy, taking a step diagonally to the back corner. Okay. Right. This isn't part of song color, is it? No. No, we're getting all kinds of funky strange. Some of us that, now. that go by lists, we need to know. No, 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 go by list for you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving around a little bit. We're having an Oshirawate, basically. Cool, we'll play with that. Switch up a little bit? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to switch partners and, and you're tired of working with the... Or maybe Eric has injured you in some way and you'd like to work with someone else. Or, yeah, you want to switch up with these guys? Nice and pretty, bro. Well, then, the nice thing about um, them having this nice... Yeah, let's say they, they are hanging on to it. So get a, a decent, not a death grip, but a decent grip. Is that this functions as a very nice lever? Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, you got it. And I can, yeah, and you can just sort of <laughs> twist the damn. All right. Go, cool, mate. <laughs> All right. So, and I hadn't thought of it until I was uh, watching. Eric, uh, I was actually watching Eric beat up this poor young man. <clears throat> no, um. <laughs> Is that um, you get here, and for whatever reason, you might get into more of a Oshiro Kubi Gatami kind of an idea from uh, the Big Ten, which is really nice because he's attached to this Joe, and this Joe is attached to me. So as the other guys that are barging, the, maybe they're ninjas throwing throwing stars, they all land in him, or they get and they're shooting this guy instead of me. And then when he's not done with him, then I go. Sorry, I want to keep that to be the ninja. So, that, that's an option. You throw that in there. Anyway. But, moving on from there, and some of you um, had started to introduce this vector into things. 
before you to do a shirawate, which is also very nice. And it kind of leads us into another possibility as well. Um, more of an uh, ariminage idea. And you may or may not get the weapon with this one. It's just kind of, <laughs> I, I found it sort of a crapshoot. Depends on, he hung on to it with his right hand. You may or may not get to it. But that same idea is I'm entering deep in this hand. I'm not in front of his face like I would normally want to. But I'm again, I'm just draping my hand here and attaching it to my thigh. And he has to go wherever I go. <laughs> Hi, he's, he's stuck with me. He has to go where I go. I, in uh, the hand that's on the far side of his head, I kind of prefer to, this is a Zednik kind of an, <laughs> an idea, I think, probably where I got that flavor. I'm, I want to hold his head a little bit towards me, and okay. And then run away. Run away. Run, brave, brave Sir Robin. <laughs> Yeah, so, cool. Well, let's play with that for a bit. I, uh, Ariminagi, Aikinagi, some people call it, I don't know why. 